start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Yahweh, 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 by Shem that's their true names in the last one, Kudash, the ancient Hebrew. The only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite. The Israelites mean so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, as well as the Israelite mourners that have taken on the appearance of the heathen. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great most long and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another in transit uh, through the spirit of poverty, Al Bashim Al Shai. And the title I'm going to give this one is Solitude. Okay, solitude, you know, and basically want to go into how, you know, we have to learn how to be comfortable alone. Okay, we have to learn how to be comfortable alone. Okay, and um, there's, strength, there's strength in that. Okay, although we have the brotherhood, you know, we have, we have each other, we've been blessed with one another but um for the most part you know this is a, a lonely path that we're on okay it's just us and our faith in how about some outside for the most part okay and um <clears throat> you know i was just reflecting upon my early days in the truth and how Know, before you how about your shot bless me with the word um you know he separated me from all that i knew from the town i was living in the circle i was in all of that he separated me from that and you know that's when i really began to enjoy solitude you know or at least that's when i was open to it, you know. That's when I really considered that I, I enjoyed being alone, you know. And uh, in this truth, you're gonna be alone a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be alone a lot. And uh, you know, some of my hardest trials. I mean, I would say your hardest trials. You know, Satan goes the hardest when you are alone. So we have to learn how to be alone and. You know, embrace it. Embrace the solitude. All right, like the scriptures tell us, endure hardness as a good soldier. You know, we understand that soldier goes back to solitude or, or you know, uh, solitary. You know, being alone, solo. You know, solo, I, I meant to say. Okay? So this is a, uh, this is a, uh, uh, lonely path you can say but we're not alone though at the same time you know it's a lonely path but you're not alone all right of course we have our power how about your mom shy and we have we have each other okay but uh there's strength in being alone man there's strength in being able to do what you gotta do you know and handling your business alone you know there's strength in that opposed to having to always be surrounded by people always depending on people you don't want to you don't want to you know uh you don't want to um have that the, have that be the case every time man you know for the most part you want to be able to move out here and navigate out here uh you know with wisdom of course alone you know, of course, you got your woman. You might have children, and even within that, even with that, the, and within that dynamic, you're alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the battle, the internal battle, you know, your 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 woman and children is not mindful of. You know, but the brothers, the brothers that are truly in the fight, understand, and that's why you. Or that's why we, you know, experience comfort with the brotherhood, man. Because we understand that we're not alone in this thing. You know, there's men out there that are dealing with the same 
ups and downs that you're dealing with. You know, so that's that's a comfort. Okay. And we have to embrace that. You know, of course, you have we all have different personalities. You know, some brothers are more social. You know, some brothers can handle uh, being with brothers 24/7. You know, it's just, it's, it's a balance, you know. The scripture say, um, two are better than one. You know, but speaking for me, myself personally, I have to, I like, I like my, I enjoy my alone time. I enjoy being alone. You know, you, you get to, you get to, uh, to think and, 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 and meditate. And you also, you get to learn yourself better, man. You know? You get to you get to learn yourself uh, 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 better, okay? And um, <clears throat> we know that uh, Yahweh Shai, he would separate himself from from the disciples and from the crowds at times. And I actually have it right here. So Matthew uh, fourteen and twenty two it says, and straightway Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away and when he had sent the multitudes away he went up into a mountain apart to pray and when the evening was come he was alone okay so even I was shy you know he took time to to, to, to be alone you know because hey there's a lot we deal with man there's a you know um you know, you need your, you need, every man needs his, 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 his privacy, you could say, you know, and of course, you know, Yahweh Shai being a, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, you know, at times you just want to be alone and to be able to really think, uh, 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 think about things and process things within your mind. Okay. So it's, uh, uh, there's a beauty to solitude okay there's a there's a there's a beauty to it man and, and me naturally as i get older the more the more i want to be alone <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i said i wasn't mindful of it as when i was younger but when the lord separated me from everything i knew um and presented me with the truth i really i really began to embrace the solitude you know, uh, so much to where, you know, I could go and do things by myself and and, 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 and I'm all right with it, you know. Well, one example being uh, going to the theaters, you know. I enjoy going to the theaters uh, by myself, you know what I'm saying. Um, of course, you know, I've called my woman and children at times, with brothers at times, but I would say 80% of the time, you know, I'm going by myself to check out a movie. And there's many other examples. But I just wanted to talk about solitude and, you know, not being afraid of being alone and, um, you know, basically embracing the solitude. But, like I said, it's a balance. We got the brotherhood. You know, we're not to neglect the brotherhood. Of course, you're going to get with brothers and fellowship and, you know, be comforted. But for the most part, throughout the week, you're doing your, you're handling your business, you alone. You know, you alone. You know, you don't vibe with the people of this world. You know, you, you know, when you at, when you at work, you're not the most talkative, talkative one. You know, you sit back, you're observing, you're listening. You know, and it's around the brothers where you with, really get the, uh, you know, be yourself, man. You know, but point is, you know, for the most part, uh, this is a lonely path, you know, when these things begin to, when the Lord really begins to let the judgment unfold out here, hey man, uh, it's just going to be us and our faith, you know, you don't want to be that brother that always has to be surrounded by brothers to, to feel like yourself, you know, you want to take that alone time and, you know, really zone in on, on and, how about from outside? Zone in on, on, on yourself and under, understand yourself more. That's 
That's where you really begin to reflect when you're alone. Okay, so don't be afraid of the solitude. I, I want to quote a scripture by Jeremiah where he mentions uh, being alone. I believe it's in, uh, Jeremiah, the 15th chapter. You know, he had, he had mentioned uh, being alone. You know, and, and basically, hey, the men of the Lord are loners, man. You know, the men of the Lord are loners, man. Look at this 144 right here on the license plate. The men of Yahweh by Shemal Shire are righteous loners, man. Okay, and that's all right. That's all right. So, you know, I didn't really know where I was going to go with this lesson aside from just solitude, you know, being alone and embracing it, man. So, you know, Lord's was edifying. You know, uh, like I mentioned, there's times where Yahweh Shai had to separate from the crowd, so to speak, and get that alone time, you know. Even when uh, he uh, was praying to the Father, you know, he, you can tell he felt that sense of being alone. You know, his disciples uh, falling asleep and, and stuff. You know, he was alone. And we, we you know, we're going to be alone. Uh, you know, in these, in these turbulent times to come. But at the same time, we're not alone. You know, Yahweh Shemal Shai is a present help. And the angels and camp about them that fear him. So we're alone, but we're not alone. If you know what I mean. But embrace the solitude, embrace, uh, you know, the, the, the life of a soldier, man, because uh, it's real, man. So Lord's was edifying, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akash. Till next time, Shalom.